All right, what's up, guys? So this is gonna be uh, another one of my more informational style videos, and uh, as you see in the background, I'm gonna have some gameplay thrown up. So, uh, you know, if you wanna watch, feel free to. But there's not gonna be anything appearing on the screen that's uh, you're gonna wanna see. It's just gonna be some like random games played. Uh, so I'll go ahead and start that, and I will uh, get to talking. So basically, um, this video, as you can see by the title, this is gonna be on some things that you know you need to know or you don't need to but it's helpful to know when you're trying to move from low ro uh, low roller to high roller i've had a lot of people ask me like you know uh you know like if they're new to the game or whatever they're trying to get to hr and they're having a really hard time like how do they do it that type of thing and honestly like you know i like truthfully speaking like i'm, I'm gonna tell you guys some things here however at the end of the day the biggest thing is just playing the game like everything i'm gonna tell you is things to prepare for however outside of actually playing the game you know it's it's, you, you know, you're not really going to get better at these things, right? Like, just knowing they exist won't really help you. Um, and so I think, you know, uh, one big thing, and I have a few points uh, here uh, lined up that are all going to kind of center around this, is learning maps and rotations. Uh, there's a few reasons for this. One of them, you know, like I made a video recently uh, on the maps just to talk about a lot of them. One of the big things about understanding the maps is just knowing where you're at, where you should go, like, you know, to look for PvP, to run away, to res, all of these things. All of those are very important, and I made a video recently that, you know, if you want to go look at, feel free to uh, check that out. Uh, all those are very important. However, outside of that, one thing, you know, you want to really, really be able to learn is where you can try to go to avoid being third party. Because that is one of the biggest differences from norms to HR, in my opinion. Even in high gear score norms, third partying does not happen that often, in my opinion. For uh, one of the main reasons being people move around the map slower. Because, you know, they're still, like, they're looting, they're clearing mobs, whatever. In HR, that's not really the case. Most very geared teams in HR, how they play is they are playing with the thought process in mind. What is the fastest way for me to move around this map to get to people to PvP? And in norms, it's just not the case. So that is something that people have to really get used to whenever they move to HR is, you know, the, the pace of the game just kind of picks up is uh, one way to uh, dis describe it. The pace of the game just kind of jumps up to 11, really. Uh, everything is just happening faster. People are moving around faster. People are fighting faster, dying faster, all of these things. And yeah, there are going to be some times where, you know, no one's really fighting because for whatever reason, people's like holding room or something like that. But it's talking about like a general sense. And in norms, like, if you fight a team, it doesn't really matter where you fight. Usually speaking, you're not going to get third-partied. However, in HR, if you fight in, like, a hot spot, almost every single time, you're going to get third-partied. That just that happens very, very frequently. And then another thing kind of in the same line that you have to learn to deal with is rats. And I don't mean druids. Well, sometimes I mean druids. But I don't literally mean, like, rats. I mean players that queued up and their intention is they just run around. Recently, you know, it's in the Moosefeed Barbarians, which still happen in HR, the Moosefeed Barbarians. They just run around the map and they look for third parties. That is specifically what they are there for. And you have to, like, you know, if you don't know how to deal with these, you can die like very, very easily to them, especially this new Barbarian uh, ratting meta, because they are very, very uh, threatening to a lot of characters. Like, a lot of comps kind of just die to them. Truthfully speaking, if you're not playing a tanky Barbarian or a fighter yourself, and you run into them, and, you know, you're low on spells, low on HP, they can very, very easily wipe you. doesn't matter how good your gear is. You know, they spend two, 3,000 gold on gear, and they could kill you in a 50,000 gold kit if you're not careful. And I feel like a lot of players, whenever they get in this spot and they see these rats, that you like, because you, you, know you know a rat when you see it, right? They see it, and they don't want to like you know let's say they just want to fight and they have bodies down they don't want to give up these bodies so they're sitting there trying to defend them and they eventually die either to these people or to more people that show up because they got stalled by these people and at some point you know you just have to say like okay we you know we have to give this up we can't fight this or something like that because that happens all the time like i've i've died to it you know that's i've still i've died to uh not wanting to give up bodies to rats plenty of times it still happens and that is just like one level of experience that you have to get like that's one of the things that i'm talking about it's like I can sit here and I can tell you guys this. However, if you don't, you know, actually experience it for yourself, you're not really going to get better about dealing with it, you know? That's because a lot of these are very, like, uh, on, like, situation to situation uh, dependent. Then, uh, moving on from that, something that I think is, I think this is probably the number one thing from, uh, that, you know, that is a, it's a hard bridge to gap from low roller to high roller is the level of gear you're going to find. Because, yeah, people will run good gear in low rollers, you know, high gear score low roller lobbies. However, HR, especially with new matchmaking, 
if you're queuing in good gear almost every single time you're going to run into people especially you know late in the wipe you're going to run into people running bis even early on in the wipe honestly early on might even be worse about it because you're fighting all the sweats that are like trying to snowball really hard if you don't know what snowballing is i've talked about this in one of my previous videos go check it out uh but they're trying to snowball really hard so their gear is getting really good like especially if you're a casual player like a lot of people joke on this right but like if you're like that casual dad gamer that's only playing two or three hours a day or, you know, even less, like, you know, an hour a day, or maybe not even that, and you try to go HR, like, you're going to run into players like me that play for, you know, multiple hours a day because that's it's the game I play. It's all, it's all I do for in terms of playing games. Like, that is not uncommon. And it's like, you know, like I said, a lot of people meme on it, but it's genuinely a thing. Like, you can run into the people, like, the streamers in particular that play this game 8 to 10 hours a day because, you know, that's their job. You run into them, and their gear is, like, already, like, literal bis a week into the wipe, and, you know, you're still running greens and blues... Like, that shit's gonna suck. Like, it's gonna feel really bad, and this is gonna happen all throughout the wipe. And I think a lot of people, this is what turns them off from HR, is just, you know, the, being unable to bridge that gear gap. And truthfully speaking, like, this isn't even me telling you in the sense of, like, oh, so this is what you do. Because getting gear is just it's a part of the game. Like, you know, I can tell you, like, oh, you know, get just get gear and don't get gear gift by them. Because, but I mean, obviously, you know, if you're not playing the game that much, it's just not realistic to do. So, that moves you on to my, um next point that i think is uh something that's not necessarily it, it's not something that's you know about lower hr but this is more of a um this is more of something that you kind of you know need to learn outside of the game and that is getting used to losing uh and you know it's gonna it's gonna feel bad right because no matter what in a game like this if you die you lose gear so it's always gonna feel bad to die and lose however it happens right if you get upset at every loss and, you know, it, you know, losing gear, like genuinely, like you get attached to your gear and losing it makes you upset, you're going to have a hard time. Because it doesn't matter how good of a player you are, it doesn't matter how good your gear is, you're going to die sometimes. It's, it just it just happens. No one that has ever played this game has never, that has, you know, gone, like, you know, you might go a few days, a week, two weeks even without dying, because that happens all the time, happens plenty of times. Uh, at the beginning of this wipe, me, Pashi, and Kidney, we didn't wipe for almost you know three or four weeks like fully like a couple like a couple one or two of us would die here or there but we didn't wipe for almost a month but eventually it's gonna happen doesn't matter how good your gear is doesn't matter how good of a player you are eventually it's gonna happen so you just need to be prepared for that you need to know how to handle that and once again this is one of those things that the only way you are ever going to feel better about this is if it happens to you this is something i tell people all the time whenever they lose gear and they feel upset by losing gear i'm like yeah you know that sucks that you lost it However, the more gear you lose, the less it, uh, the less you know, it would, the less bad it feels <laughs> whenever uh, you start losing more. And this used to be something that uh, I had a really big issue with. I hated like running really good gear because I didn't want to lose it. I had gear fear. It's exactly what it is, right? It's just gear fear. And I didn't want to lose it. But eventually, you know, you, you just kind of overcome that. You run, a, you run really good gear. You lose really good gear. And the more you lose, the more like oh, the more accepting you are of losing stuff. Because like, oh, I lost, you know, this crazy good stuff this time. Like losing this is nothing, right? And you just kind of learn naturally that, like, eventually, you know, like, gear comes and goes, right? It's at the end of the day, even if, you know, you don't lose it. Like, let's say you lived throughout the entire wipe. Eventually, the game's going to wipe, and you're going to lose it one way or another. So, just, uh, that is, like, kind of segues to another part, which is I'm not really going to go too in-depth on here. But just using good gear is how you get, like, the better your gear is, the better the results you're going to get. It just always happens like that. It's just naturally how games like this work. The better gear you run, the better your results are going to be. You know, not to say you can't get good results in bad gear, but generally speaking, you're more likely to get better results in better gear. Yeah, you know, is how it is. And then moving on to my last point. Um, this is, I think, probably one of the big reasons casual players don't like playing HR. And that is because of the PvE. PvE and HR is significantly harder uh, compared to normals it is much much harder you know you have nightmare mobs pretty consistently and at least every mob is a red mob there's no more normal skeletons it's all red skeletons or nightmare skeletons you know primarily red but then still a decent amount of nightmares thrown around there and nightmare skeletons are a big learning curve for this game because you know they have new move sets uh like the rangers shoot three times the axe skeletons do a side swipe the zwies have a floor swipe a third like a third hit in the combo you know, all of these things, these new attacks that you have to learn and get used to, while on top of that, they do a ton of damage and they're tankier. And something else is, you know, outside of just specifically killing the mobs, is if you don't, 
get used to dealing with these mobs in the context of the game. You get to start a fight, you know, like you're doing PvP, and you accidentally aggroed like a Nightmare Axe skeleton, and that is literally a fourth person. Honestly, it's scarier than a fourth person sometimes. Like, there, I, there are some players I would rather fight before I fight a Nightmare Axe skeleton. That's just truthful. But I've seen plenty of players, like, you die just because you pulled a single mob in a fight. Or, like, a crossbowman or an archer. Any of these things that are, like, a ton of damage. Because they do have a lot of damage. They hit really, really hard. But, you know, you pull these mobs and they could literally be the deciding factor in the fight. And this uh, plays back into one of the things I mentioned earlier. Is in HR, people do move around faster. And it's like, okay, but, like, you're, you're going to say, like, oh, how do I move around faster? The PvE is harder. That's one of the things is you have to learn how to deal with the PvE. You have to learn what rooms to go to, what rooms to avoid, what you should clear, what you shouldn't. And if you don't learn that, you're going to end up getting caught, like, you know, in the second, third room you're in trying to clear it. And the team's rushing you because they knew how to path and you didn't. Like, this is not, you know, an abnormal thing to happen. I, I see it happen plenty of times. I, you know, I kill, like, newer players, even if the thing is, even if they're not in bad gear. If they don't know how to manage mobs, like, you'll catch them. They have a full room aggroed on them, and now they're trying to deal with a full room of PvE and three players. And, like I said, if you're just not used to dealing with that level of, uh, you know, difficulty for mobs, it's very, very easy to uh, end up dying to them. But uh, that's probably going to wrap it up here. Um, I'm sure there are plenty of things I miss. Whenever I make these videos, I always like make a list up beforehand, and then I'll think of something later. But um, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for me. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you think I missed anything that's important, feel free to leave it down below in the comments. Uh, you know, help out other players. Always a good thing. But yeah, with that being said, um, it's going to wrap it up, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.